Hi everyone, welcome to my tiny YouTube channel. I asked you on Instagram should I do a voiceover or just draw on some chill background music, but most of you wanted me to talk, so now suffer the consequences of my wonderful English. <laughs> so the plan is to answer some of your questions from Insta and I will speak in English since most of my followers there are from different countries, so I figured this will be okay for everyone. Um, also, I hope everyone is cringing to this from home, given how stressful is the situation right now. Mm, before I start, maybe I should tell some stuff about me. My name is Bobo, I draw a lot and right now I work as a background designer. And the most important thing, I have 7 months old doggo called Benji. He's literally the best and my followers on Insta knows that because I spam them all the time with his pictures. But this is the situation, people. Most of your questions were about some general art tips, how to get better and what is my mindset when I draw something. Uh, this is a broad topic really, but I will try my best to talk in less than 4 hours about it. So the sketches that I do here are part of my regular study process. I do them both to study expression, poses, anatomy, faces, but also just to keep my habit of drawing every day. So my general tip, it isn't something groundbreaking, just if you want to be an artist, you have to draw a lot. Like 5 times a month is not a lot if you want to see progress and if you want to do it professionally one day. I guess this is the most annoying tip and me 5 years ago would be pretty pissed to hear it from everywhere, but it's also the best tip. And for my mindset, general thing is to be focused on what you do, not just do it for the sake of it, and least that worked for me. Um, in the beginning, my sketches were really stiff and every line was super clean and precise, even though I didn't have much knowledge on the basics like anatomy. And my mind was fixed on how the sketch will look, rather than the whole purpose of hey, why I sat and wrote that in the first place. Uh, I remember doing a lot of anatomy studies and I wasn't happy with the result because of course I'm doing it for the fifth time and I want to be the boss already. But also I was uh, repeating the lines so the end result is looking good and not messy, even though the result is wrong. Like, forget about the bad anatomy, man. Did you see that crispy line, though? And uh, boy, that was exhausting experience because I wasn't spending time studying the mistakes, uh, but rather trying to make them look nice and clean. Uh, these sketches took me hours to make and I was really frustrated because here I am, drawing again all day. My head hurts, my eyes are ready to pop out of my head. Uh, I can feel my butt from sitting all day. To finish something, I don't even know why I started. I was one or two days away from transforming into Amgo, the artist version. And because clearly this wasn't working for me at all, I decided to leave that mindset of draw everything nice and pretty. So I started to do a lot of messy sketches, a lot of rough sketches. I started to draw not only from pictures but from real world, the water bottle next to me, my desk, the notebook, my sister, I used her to pose for me every time I can. Um, I figured there's no pointless thing to draw since everything is training in a way and um, drawing from real world is the real deal since you can see everything three dimensional and this really shows in sketch. So yeah, uh, these are some of the things that help me level up. Okay, next question. Uh, how is Benji? Uh, yes, I have a few questions about my doggo and surprise, surprise, he is doing great. Uh, I'm at home all the time, he has treats on demand and belly rubs, uh, he got fatter and happier and sometimes we bark out of the window. Uh, I think I will transform in a dog at some point in the near future. I 
also had a few questions about Tiger King on Netflix uh, because I wrote on my Insta story I even can talk about Joe Exotic in my voiceover. Um, so yep, yeah, I saw it and as far as documentaries go, uh, this is one of the best I've seen. Uh, like the amount of footage and crazy stuff that was happening, to edit all that, to sound logical, this is just wow. What? Uh, I edited this video for a few days and it's basically a time lapse which was already done by the program and me just rambling some stuff so yeah. Uh, for the people I kinda lost it when I saw that as riding an elephant because I was prepared to see the poor tigers but um, for sure I didn't expect to see so many other wild animals captured by some weirdos with questionable hairstyles. Like why exactly do you want wild animals as a pet other than to brag? Uh, it's lame. Uh, and it's funny because for the first time I don't know who I dislike the most. So yeah. Last question that I'm gonna cover is about my working year. Um, I have two tablets, uh, all my studies and sketches I do on my iPad, which only cost two kidneys, um, with Procreate and a pencil brush. I always forgot the name, I will write it down in the description. Um, I also use the Max Pack brushes, uh, which are super rad. And for my work, I use Photoshop and my Cintiq 13HG tablet. Uh, that being said, if you are new to digital drawing, I don't think you need to give a lot of money for your first tablet. Uh, I started and worked almost 3 years on one tiny Wacom Bamboo tablet with no screen. Okay, so once I'm done with uh, the rough sketches, I uh, do a second pass. Uh, where I add uh, details and I refine the sketch. Um, I will leave you to see the process of that. Uh, I hope this was at least some um, informative and my English didn't cause your ears to bleed. Uh, subscribe if you want and uh, follow me on Instagram uh, where I post most of my art, rough sketches and sometimes quality memes. Um, I'm gonna post this sketch there as well and if Instagram don't flag me for the amount of nipples I drew, uh, you will be able to see it. Uh, bye now and stay home people!